But I play John Crowley. John Crowley is, uh, uh, he was a Harvard MBA, comes from a long line of civil servants. He's a really great guy. Hi, John. Um, he's, in my view, part of the brain trust, very specific, crisply intelligent. <laughs> he's, he's got way more pistons than I ever will or will do. <laughs> and I admire him for that a great deal. And um, I feel, I feel really privileged to be doing my take of who he is in an incarnation as a character that's brought to a screen. John's the kind of guy who, let's just put it this way, sometimes in life the answer is no. And sometimes that's the correct answer, sometimes it's a perfectly good answer. And sometimes it's the one you gotta live with, but he actually said no, no is not acceptable. I'm gonna find a way to turn no into a maybe and then maybe into yes. The reason why I wanted to be a part of this movie because we all know how strong a medium uh, cinema is and it'd be pedantic to tell anybody that but it does reach out and it does touch people. Will it save people's lives? Possibly. Will it change the way we think? Hopefully. Will we be able to um, turn things around? I don't know the answer, but I do know that in terms of raising awareness about something, this film isn't structured as some sort of public service message. It's not an appeal to um, those who suffer from rare lysosomal disorders, specifically. But it is an appeal to its audience to take into account that, regardless of your ailment, you're still a human being. I would be remiss to, to not tell you that he singularly was the actor who inspired me to admit to myself, and then out loud, that I wanted to act, and then I wanted to act in films. Of course, it's because we grew up watching him in action pictures and you know all the names of them, but he's the man. He's the real thing. And the cool thing that I've learned about working with him is that I have so much left to learn. This is director Tom's style is to say yes and, and yes and yes. You, I've never once since I met him, encountered, uh, you can't get it wrong with the guy. It inspires everyone to do their best. And he is not precious about a moment or a take or the specific interpretation on a line. He will give really helpful direction. And he also, in the best way possible, knows when to stand back and just let his actors sort it out. And that that actually is a skill for some directors because they some directors can't. They have to micromanage and be a part of everything. Tom's not one of those guys. Well Carrie's delightful. Carrie's she's lovely. She's a an empathetic, beautiful, talented actress who is a mother herself. I'm a father. Uh, we understand the married relationship in life and it, <laughs> warts and all. And in the world of this film, it gets challenged. Um, and they need to... They, become argumentative, they need to, they love one another, um, they, they have fears, they support one another, when one is weak, the other is strong, they're, they're quite a, re, quite a remarkable duo.